According to Asin sources, Pakistan would supply 155mm artillery shells to Israel, despite its ongoing conflict with Hamas. This revelation comes despite Islamabad's historic opposition to the existence of the State of Israel and its refusal to recognize it diplomatically. According to a post on Oman, the move suggests a covert supply chain to Israel, as the British Royal Air Force's Akrotiri base in Cyprus became a key military hub for supplying munitions to Israel during its war with Hamas. Earlier reports from the Israeli newspaper Haaretz detailed the landing of more than 40 American transport planes and 20 British transport planes, as well as seven heavy transport helicopters, at RAF Akrotiri, carrying equipment, weapons, and forces. The report also mentions U.S. planes landing at Nevedim Air Base in southern Israel and Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv, delivering weapons, including armored vehicles, to the Israeli military. Pakistan's involvement in this arms supply chain is particularly noteworthy given its historical position in Israel. Since its establishment in 1947, Pakistan has not recognized Israel, a position underscored by the notation on its passports explicitly stating that they are invalid for travel to Israel. The Pakistani government has consistently maintained that it will not seek normalized relations with Israel until the establishment of an independent Palestinian state within the pre-1967 borders, with East Jerusalem as its capital. However, there have been reported instances of clandestine interactions between Pakistan and Israel, including Pakistan's intelligence agency ISI's alleged warning to Israel regarding the 2008 Mumbai attacks. Abraham in 2020 and subsequent international pressure have intensified debates in Pakistan over normalizing ties with Israel. The bond between Pakistan and Israel takes on a new dimension given recent arms sales. In September 2023, The Intercept reported that secret weapons sales from Pakistan to the United States facilitated an international monetary fund, IMF, bailout. These sales, which Islamabad denied, were apparently intended for the Ukrainian army, including 155mm shells. This development, if proven, indicates a significant shift in Pakistan's foreign policy and its role in international military affairs, balancing its declared stance of strict neutrality in the Russia-Ukraine war with arms deals behind the scenes.